Here it is, the new Somfy keypad in the RTS version. I'm Otto from Tron.com and today we're going to take a closer look at the keypad and compare it to its predecessor. The first thing you notice is a new design. It looks a lot nicer than its predecessor and it's finished in a stylish black. The new keypad is slightly longer than the old one but still about the same width. It's now 70mm wide and 120mm high. Funnily enough, the squirrels on the back are the exact opposite. So two down and one up on the new one, and two up and one down on the old one. It's not very handy when you need to replace it, and even more frustrating when you realize that if you turn the back over, the holes would line up perfectly to reuse the existing squirrels you have in your wall. You open the keypad here with a number 10 Allen key. This is not included, which is a shame. The previous version did come with an Allen key, so not having an Allen key isn't really an improvement. What is an improvement is that the foam on the back of the keypad is already glued in place. And this foam prevents water from getting in through the screw holes. With the previous version, you actually had to install the foam yourself. The key lighting is also different. They are now white, whereas on the previous version they were green. So it looks a lot more modern. The strange thing however is that the light does not come on immediately on the new version. You would expect the keys to light up as soon as you press them, but they do not. The old version did, so in that respect it was a lot better. Perhaps they thought this would save battery life, but it's better to have a battery that needs replacing sooner than to be standing in the dark with keys that don't light up. Another saving I don't like is the short manual. There's a quick start version of the manual in the new version. And there is a full manual available which we'll include on the website, but it's not included in the packaging. You can find a link to this full manual in the description of the video and in the comments. By the way, you may have noticed that the keys on the new keypad make a sound. Personally, I think it's quite handy, but if you don't like it, you can turn it off, which can be seen in another video. It will come as no surprise in times when everything is getting more expensive that you pay more for the new version than you did for the old one. The old one was around 85 euros, including VAT. year two. The new one is around 100 euros. We offer it currently on the website for 99.95, including VAT. So in conclusion, it surely remains difficult for designers to keep the good things and build on those. Something that looks better is chosen, but the strengths of the previous model are not sufficiently taken into account. In the case of the keypad 2, it's fortunately not too bad, but the malfunctioning light of the keys is a real drawback. And so is not taking into account the location of the screw holes where you replace an old keypad for a new one. The lack of an Allen wrench is also an omission. The design does look more stylish, and the keys with the sound are also a plus. The foam is integrated in the design, which is a good step forward. As usual though, these days you pay a lot more for it, and that's a shame. In any case, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you still have any questions about the new keypad, do let me know. The email address is info at For now, thanks for watching and see you in the next one.